Hey guys, Church of Thought here to talk about family cyclovir and just pharmacies in general, compounding pharmacies for pets. So recently, my cat Tigger needed family cyclovir. It's a antiviral drug um, because he has a eye infection, probably due to a virus. And at first, we ended up getting a solution from Diamondback aka Wedgwood, I guess the two companies are merging. And that's this right here. And I was surprised when I first got it. Because as you can see, well, you might not be able to see because the camera quality is not so great. It the consistency is almost like someone took a, a bunch of pills and just broke them up with a mortar and pestle and then put them in some carrier solution. I mean, it just is chalky. It's not homogeneous, as you would expect from a high quality, uh, you know, uh, liquid uh, drug. So I was really disappointed in that. And the cat just wouldn't take this because it's a bitter medication, not to mention it's just made like shit. So this was 60 bucks. Right. And I didn't say anything to Wedgwood. Uh, I asked. I said, you know, um, hey. And they said, yeah, it should be chalky. But listen. If you get uh, good quality liquid drugs, they will be homogeneous. There will be no big chunks in them. So they did a shit job on this and they won't even admit it. And I, I didn't ask for a refund on this because it's just whatever. So anyways, the cat wouldn't take this. So I ended up getting chewables, right? This is the chewables from Diamondback, aka Wedgwood, right? And first of all, I don't even get this design because... The barrier is like, how am I supposed to get them out with a fucking a butter knife? That's kind of ridiculous. Second of all, there was powder on these originally. That's the flavoring. The powder is no longer on these. It fell right off. The, the, the flavoring is not even baked into the fucking things. So that pissed me off because the cat wouldn't need even a single one of these because they taste like shit. And they're also quite rubbery and they sweat. It's, it's not even like, a, it, it's just garbage quality. So really pissed about these. I mean, how are you going to sell something that's supposed to be flavored? The whole point is what's called, um, I forget the word, um, uh, was it procedure or uh, compliance? Compliance. The whole, it's supposed to be for compliance, right? A chewable is for compliance. So the cat or the other pet eats the thing, takes the medication, it's supposed to help with compliance. And this cost me over a hundred dollars. I think it was a hundred and ten or twenty dollars for these chewables, which is outrageous. I mean, we're talking about sick animals here, and they're charging a hundred and something dollars for fucking chewables, um, and that aren't even baked. I mean, they're they're not even well formed. It's like someone took some play doh and just fucking stuffed it in this. This is why it's a grid, I guess, so they could just stuff it in the fucking squares and then you know give it to you. So horrible quality product also. Now I called them about this. I said, listen, the things are, first of all, they're kind of sweating and melting. The powder, which is supposed to be flavoring falls right off. So what the fuck is the point? And they told me, oh, that's normal. I said, well, what's the point then? Why would anyone spend this much money to get chewable to make their pet take the medication if the flavoring falls right off? I mean, what's the difference between this and this? It's mainly just hopefully they'd eat this one because you put fucking flavoring on it. So really, really lousy, especially the price. So I did some research on my own. I remember, and, 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 to, and, and just to reiterate, Wedgwood, aka Diamondback Drugs, would not give me a refund on the chewables, which is what I asked for a refund. The solution is just whatever. You make shit fucking compounded drugs. There should not be little particles floating in it it should be homogeneous. So that's whatever. But this, I mean, it's just like your flavoring falls off. What the fuck? Anyone can make chewables where the flavoring is inside of the things. Like there's no excuse for that. And so they wouldn't give me a refund. So fuck you, Wedgwood. Now here's what hopefully will help a lot of you guys. I ended up ordering from Roadrunner Pharmacy. It only cost me $50. That's it. $50. And they even gave me, there was some toy mice in here, like a little toy for the, for the cats, which I think is really sweet of them to do. And, and then this came in the package sealed, right? And this is what's called transdermal. 
femcycle beer. It's the same drug, but transdermally done. They even have instructions about how to do it. It's just basically they gave me six individual syringes, all sealed. I just have to pop these tops off. And you put it under the ear. You just you, you take it in your fingers. You could use a glove. You don't have to. Um, and you just you just put it inside the ear on the hairless part, whether it be a dog or a cat. If it's another type of animal, you know, just put it on a place where there's skin, not fur or hair. And uh, and the cat did not freak out, didn't run away, let me do it. And now the cat's, you know, totally in compliance. So I can give this every day and it, it's perfect. And if you Google Femcyclovir Transdermal, there's only one pharmacy that you'll see. It's called SVP. Now I called up SVP doing this research. I talked to the pharmacist over there, very sweet, uh, uh, very sweet uh, pharmacist. Uh, man, I forget her name. She's an Asian woman. And she basically, I asked her, you know, how many doctors are ordering this from you guys? They were based out of Texas SVP. Unfortunately, they didn't ship to Arizona, but she did give me the name of a doctor, um, this Dr. Chakrali, who I gave a call up, who orders from her, this Famcyclovir transdermal. And um, I talked with his staff and they confirmed that this transdermal Famcyclovir is effective and it works great. So it surprises me that it's not more uh, advertised on the internet, um, on these pharmacy sites where the kind of main instrument of um, of administration because it's so much easier. The animal's not going to be afraid. You're not going to stress the animal out. And the last thing you want to do to a sick animal is stress them out. So I think it's wonderful. So, um, yeah, I mean, if you, um, if you are having to give your, uh, sick animal, your sick, your sick pet, um, some type of antiviral medication, think about transdermal and do not order from Wedgwood or Diamondback. And, 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 and not to mention, they didn't want to compound transdermal from cyclovir for me. They said, oh, we don't do it. I mean, that's just ludicrous because first of all, compounding pharmacy is supposed to make custom medication. So just off the bat, they didn't want to do it because it's something they don't usually do. And then in addition, just these shit fucking quality medications. So, so fuck you, Diamondback. Don't order from Diamondback. Order from Roadrunner. $50 with overnight uh, shipping, extremely good quality. I could see and I and I felt the uh, transdermal uh, medication in my hand. It's totally homogeneous, excellent quality, very impressed. Um, I will order from Roadrunner from now on. Um, and yeah, just uh, transdermal, much, much easier, much better. Won't stress the, the pet out. Last thing you want to do is stress the pet out when the pet's already sick. Um, I'm really impressed with Roadrunner sending everything overnight, all sealed up, uh, impeccable quality. Um, really disappointed with Wedgwood uh, Diamondback drugs. Um, anyhow, that's it for me. Uh, my cat should be getting better because of this. It's just got some kind of viral infection in the eye. It's not too bad. It's just kind of a little mucus, yellow mucus. Um, that they think might be due to herpes. They don't really know because the herpes test isn't very accurate for cats. So, uh, so we'll, we're going to give this a try, um, and uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully it's going to be uh, pretty effective. Yeah, have a good one, guys. Church of thought out.